Tschüss. Hello everyone. This episode is about um, making one hand MIDI controller. These days, so many useful uh, MIDI controllers are pouring in. There are a lot of big ones, small ones with keys or not. It's even cheap. So, um, maybe it doesn't mean much to make it ourselves, but uh, we can't miss this fun, right? In fact, it was made about uh, 15 years ago. It's this. Pretty? No? Yes, uh, it looks a little rough, but uh, each function worked really satisfactorily. But um, this requires the uh, DIN MIDI jack and the power cable. In this day, we don't use the, this type of uh, MIDI cable, not so much. And me too. And that's why I have decided to change the change to USB interface. This was originally in here. Um, this is the version that uh, did not have a built-in UART function in that time. So, I remember implementing MIDI in a bit banging method. Anyway, we will rebuild this for a simple USB interface. Uh, leaving its only housing and buttons for 2021. The main MCU, um, what should I do? What's Bell Pi Pico and Arduino Leopardo and STM32 at 103. Yeah, at this time, I will choose this. This is a module uh, also called Blue Pill. Um, using this module like uh, this make the circuit easier. In fact, there's no particular reason to use this board. Um, there's a lot of information on the implementation of the MIDI interface on all three boards. This is uh, sold at AliExpress for two or three dollars. It's really cheap. 
That's why I love this chip so much. It's even 32-bit, uh, not 8-bit. Yes, then let's get started. I will explain it by dividing it into software making and hardware making. First, hardware. There are not many parts that go in here. I use uh, one rotary encoder and three LED buttons and two TAT buttons and uh, three LEDs and 330 ohms Register. It's all. Let's start with LEDs. I will choose the port, uh, port B345. Thanks to the modules, all circuits are simplified. So let's skip the circuit diagram and draw a wiring diagram instead. LEDs, resistors, and link the ground and port B3, B345. So far, I've used a rotary encoder as a polling or interrupt method which has been a little complicated. But I knew for the first time that STM32F103 support this. Rotary encoder was used using timer 2. Rotary encoder. Switches. Switches uh, from A2 to A7. I forgot the pull up register. Okay. It's all. Then let's solder.
beat the bass, the beat the bass, 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 bass,
Yes. It's done. Wiring and soldering. Beautiful. <laughs> Wiring and soldering is still a bit difficult for me. But if it's too easy, it's not so fun for me too. Anyway, the wiring is uh, finished uh, anyway. And, and now the screws on the housing need to be tightened. All I have left is uh, software work. Um, download cable must be connected uh, inside the module in order to uh, raise the firmware to the module. So I won't tighten the screw yet. Um, if the video gets too long, uh, it will be boring. So I'll do the softer part in the next episode. Okay, see ya.